Hi, my name is Julie, and I am trying to lose weight. I've decided to join the wonderful world of YouTube weight loss bloggers, video bloggers, and I'm hoping this will really be something that will help me to reach my goal. I'm currently weighing in at 251.2, and I'd like to reach a goal weight of 165 pounds. I just think I'd be awful sexy and sassy at 165 and got all fit, <laughs> as thin as I've ever been about. Um, in high school, I weighed about 175 or so, and I thought I was horrifically fat back then. Um, in fact, I was. I was overweight. I've been overweight since I was a little girl, and losing weight has always been something that I've had as a goal. Um, I had always stayed very active up until the point I got married about, and then things kind of settled down. Um, I had a baby. She's 18 months old, and she kind of helped uh, me to gain weight. Not necessarily she. I don't want to put blame on the baby, but... Uh, my lifestyle. Uh, when I was pregnant I had gestational diabetes and was eating very strict diet. Um, I was cutting out almost all carbs, I was having to track my blood sugars, I mean it was awful. And I think after I had the baby and my blood sugars went back down, I just went crazy. I wanted to eat everything and I especially wanted to eat brownies. And it wasn't just a single brownie, it was a whole pan of brownies. And it was really kind of strange to me because even before, well, before I was pregnant, I really wasn't into brownies. They were like the last dessert I ever would have picked. And I was really surprised to find that after I had my baby, brownies was all I wanted. I was making it like a pan of brownies every few days, and my husband and I would polish it off pretty quick, and largely I would polish it off. Um, I reached my highest weight of right around 260, a little above, I can't remember exactly, I didn't document it very well, 260.4 or two, maybe even 261, um, and I'm currently 251.2, so I've lost somewhere between 9 and 10 pounds within the last uh, about 4 months. I really started getting into trying to lose weight uh, at the end of April, and I actually joined a weight loss boot camp where I had a trainer and was with a few other women who were trying to lose weight, and I found it to be so motivational in the beginning. I was so pumped up and excited. I was eating well. I was exercising really hard three days a week with this trainer for an hour and taking walks on my days off and just really working. And I got so discouraged because the other people in my boot camp were very thin and very fit. And um, as she would get more people into the program, I, for some reason it would even discourage me further. And to make things even worse, I actually did not lose any weight while I was doing this boot camp. And I'm sure I was gain muscle, blah, 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 whatever, but I wanted to lose weight. I wasn't out there to gain muscle. I don't need muscle, you know, laying under my fat, and so I was really discouraged. So I'm hoping to start up a plan. I have been thinking about different things. You know, in the past, I tried Atkins and South Beach and found that those plans were largely unfollowable long-term. Um, and so I'm not really thinking low-carb is the way to go. You know, I think South Beach is actually a really good lifestyle, but I think it's giving up too much too quick for me. Uh, in the past, I did Weight Watchers, and I actually did really well at Weight Watchers. And, um, I, you know, I didn't go to the meetings. I did it on my own. Uh, and so I'm going to probably incorporate some Weight Watchers and some uh, just calorie counting. I really want to make my life as uncomplicated as I can while dieting, so I think calorie counting actually will probably be the best thing because that way I don't have to calculate points. I don't have to think about anything but a certain calorie limit and I searched online and found a calorie weight loss figure outer <laughs> and it says I should probably eat about 1600 a day and that would take me just over a year to lose the weight um, I want to lose up to oh, I want to go be down to 165 is my goal weight and I just think I'll be one hot mama at 165 and I'm hoping to reach it uh, the online calculator said probably to expect a year, a little over a year, October of 2010, to actually reach that goal. But I'm not discouraged by that time frame. I'm pumped. I'm ready to go. I want to do this. I want to be the person I know that I can be, be the mother I know I can be. You know, I have lots of fears, not only of raising an obese child. Uh, luckily, right now, my baby is a very good, healthy eater. I've tried very hard to teach her good habits. Um, we eat whole wheat pastas, whole wheat breads, uh, she eats a lot of vegetables, she actually loves cooked spinach, which makes me very happy. Um, so I'm hoping that I can continue that, teach my baby good health, you know, good ways to eat, good exercise um, routines or whatever. I don't know if you teach kids routines, but have her play and have her be active and 
you know, something that I truly fear is my own health, you know, joint problems, diabetes, high blood pressure, everything that comes along with obesity. My mother-in-law is overweight and has been most of her adult life and very overweight at this stage and she has horrible joint problems in her knees, almost to the point that she can't get in and out of chairs, in and out of bed, and it's just, life is difficult for her. She needs help getting in and out of her car and I don't want to be that. I want to be someone who is active like my mother is. My mom and dad are able to still, you know, I know they're not very old anyways, they're in their early 60s, but uh, they're able to go out, do what they want to do, exercise, hike, have fun, and they're not limited by their physical. And I don't want to be limited by my physical. And I definitely don't want any of the diseases associated with obesity. And luckily, I've been a very healthy person as far as that goes. Um, I don't have any joint problems. I don't have diabetes. I do have high blood pressure, and I'd like to see that come down. Um, so I'm hoping to really rock this. I'm hoping to become the person I know I can be. And I'm not hoping, but I will become the person that I know I can be and be the mother I can be for my baby. So I hope I can get some people to follow me and help motivate me and keep me on point and really help me work this out. So I just am excited to start. So thanks a lot. Bye.